Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this video, we'll continue learning about pre-processing in scikit-learn. And here we'll talk about scaling data with outliers. And in specifically, we'll look at what are outliers. You probably already know that. And what are the functions that are to be used with a data set that has outliers? And which are the functions that probably are not recommended. So let's look at uh, the first step. And this is kind of a redundant slide, but I just want to emphasize that uh, whenever we are trying to scale our data, so if we want to uh, scale, uh, apply the fit parameter only to the train set and not to the train validation and test set separately. So once you apply the fit to train set, then those parameters can be used to transform uh, all the train validation and test sets. Now let's look at uh, why we want to use a robust scaler uh, and not max app scaler or standard scaler or the min max scaler when we have outliers in our data set. So here I've created a new matrix, four by three matrix. And in this matrix, there are two outliers. One is in, uh, in column two, or second column, and then the third column, the number 999. Uh, all other values are less than 10 except these two values. And what happens is if we try to scale using, let's say, max app scaler or any of these standard scaler or min max scaler, the values in these two rows they become uh, identical they look similar and if we look here as well and these minus 0.58 uh, they are in all of these also within the same column the values are pretty much similar uh, again the same thing here these are of all become zeros uh, and these two again are similar right here even though the values within the original matrix are different. Now, if you, in contrast, if you look at the first column, uh, which does not have outlier, in those, in that particular column, we see genuine, we see values that are different uh, in all of these three cases. So, uh, the point I want to make here is that if there are outliers in the data set and if you uh, want to use, if you have to use these three methods, then at, then one option could be removing the outliers before doing the scaling. I, however, if that is not an option and you have to have the outliers, then there is another method which is robust scalar. And with this method, as you can see, the uh, outliers are handled in a different way and we do have, although these two uh, do have zeros in them, but this is uh, a recommended method for outliers, which is robust scalar. So if you had more data set, uh, the difference would be more prominent. I just have three values here. So let's get into Jupyter Notebook and uh, see how this can be implemented. Here in Jupyter Notebook, I've imported two libraries, NumPy and sklearn. And from the sklearn, I've imported the pre-processing module. And these are the versions that I'm using. So for sklearn, it's 0.23.1. So let's get into the code part. First, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create a matrix, which is the same matrix that was earlier upon the slides. So we'll label it as x underscore train. So x underscore train is equal to np dot array. And within this, we have the first column, which is one, two, and three. And then we had the second column, which was four, five, and six. And after that, uh, we have the third column, which is three, six, and eight. And finally, we have the last column, which is seven. And then there were two outliers, 999 and 999. Now, when we go ahead and run this, as a train, we see that this is the matrix that we have. Now the method of scaling is the same as we have seen before. So I'll go ahead and create a, a variable scalar is equal to 
pre processing dot robust robust scalar and I use the fit on x underscore train so that's our scalar now we can use that to transform the x train so x train underscore scale this is the variable where we'll store the output scale is equal to scalar dot transform and within this we'll type x underscore train so now when we go ahead and print x underscore train underscore scale we should see an output uh, let's round these numbers around to two decimal places and we can see that in the output we have uh, values which is uh, these are the two outliers and they look pretty similar here but if we have more numbers then those values could make a difference similarly we can also check if uh, the other uh, methods that we saw work in this case so i'm going to go ahead and copy these two lines as well so copy paste them here now if we use the standard scalar standard scalar and if we transform using that then in the output as we have seen before we get similar values for uh, the uh, entire column way which has an outlier so here at least we have 0 0.2 then 0 0 and then we have 3.96 in this case uh, most of all of them are pointed 0 0.58 0 0.58 maybe we have 0 0.57 similar to this if we try and use the max abs scalar so let's try the max abs scalar in this case again we have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.01, 0.01, and we have a 0 there. Again, we can try to use the min max scalar. So, min max scalar, and uh, here again, the most of the values are similar. So, we have two zeros and then one zero 0.1. Let's look at yet another example. So, here uh, I'm going to create another uh, uh, variable x. And this would be an np dot array and this will have two columns uh, so the first one would have random numbers random integers so np dot random dot random integers and these would go from 0 to 10 and we'll create 50 of those and after this we'll create another one np dot random dot random integers again this goes from 0 to 10 and we'll have 50 of those now uh, I'm going to transpose this so we have those as columns in addition to this we'll go ahead and add uh, outliers to one of the columns so np dot append and here I'm going to use x and np dot array and this is where we have the outlier for the second one so I'm going to put a bunch of nines in there and we'll append that as a row so we need to specify axis as x and so this is the uh, data we have we have two columns each with numbers 0 to 10 and except this uh, second column having the last value that is an outlier which is outside uh, 10 so if we were to scale a data set such as this one using the min max scalar let's see what happens so we'll use the same method that we have scalar uh, is equal to or we can use directly so pre pre-processing dot min max scalar and here we'll use fit underscore transform transform and we have x and so here as you can see we can round these around so as you can see all the values have become zero uh, in comparison to this the values in the first column are not zeros now if you go ahead and use the uh, robust scalar let's see if it makes any difference so pre processing dot robust scalar 
dot fit underscore transform and here uh, when we run this fit underscore transform and as you can see that we do not have zeros in there now so we do get our real values in the second column which had outliers so uh, using robust killer does uh, work and it uh, handles the outliers in a data set therefore it's recommended to use a robust scalar for scaling a data set which has outliers that was it for this video i hope in this video you learned what what are outliers so these are the extreme values that are outside the range of uh, other values in a data set and how to use a, a robust scalar to scale a data set that has outliers Additionally, we also looked at what are the effects of using min-max scalar or standard scalar uh, when the data set has outliers. So it's uh, suggested if possible, you want to probably want to remove the outliers before using those methods. And if you cannot do that, then uh, I'd suggest using the robust scalar and see if that works. We'll continue this discussion on pre-processing next videos. We'll look at some other aspects until then, please like, share and subscribe. I hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you.